Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Jim Duggan. I'm here with Pat and Keith from the Soul Good Crew. Shouts to Robin, he couldn't be with us here today. We're on our way to Red Deer to check out Eli Falls and his shoe customization. So let's go. <laughs> So we made it down to Red Deer, Alberta, Canada safely and we're here with Eli Falls. Hello. We're going to go inside, we're going to take a little look at his collection and then we're going to sit down with him and we're going to talk about some of the shoes that he's customized and that are going to be ready for you guys at Soul Good to possibly pre-order. So many little details on the shoe just really set it off. So I think threes are like like a, like specifically one of the best shoes that like shoot for beating good. up. Oh yeah. Ones as well obviously. Actually yeah, I got these from another buddy. He bought them from Intersport 2010, I believe. And uh, he didn't really know sneakers, he just kinda of thought they were cool. It's crazy. But yeah, I mean for a hundred and forty dollar nice. shoe. Yeah. And I've been wearing yeah. Pretty much Kyrie's non-stop for fall. Picked up a few pairs from our store. Basketball shoes. We love this like mango. These look like a decent shoe for playing. Under forty oh, bucks. That's awesome. That's, that's it's wearable too. Like, oh, it's yeah. pretty wearable. Like, oh yeah, too. just with like pants or yeah. shorts or whatever, just wearing them around. Like, Universal Studios. Yeah. So they're an officially licensed product. They're not a fake, but they're not a Nike licensed man. They're not, as, they're not as cheap feeling as people would say. I actually I wore these for an eight hour shift at work and they oh, were yeah. they were comfy. That's cool. They still pretty cool. I like that. It was at a staff function down in Calgary and the, the manager for the medicine hat store is big into sneakers and he was wearing a pair of cool greys and I fell in love with them. Also. They were like a size 13. I was like, man, I'll buy those off of there. I was just like, man, they're so cool. So uh yeah, saved up and found a pair for a good price, and I love those pair. Another pair that I bought when I was over in Hong Kong, um, I got them I think two days after they released, and that was at the time was the most expensive pair I ever bought. First pair I ever spent over two hundred bucks on, and uh, I they're comfy. I love that colorway. Uh, Le LeBron Ten is my favorite LeBron silhouette. But there was a Russian kid living in a dorm with me and he left halfway through the year and he had a pair of Dark Army 5s and left him there. And so I messaged him, I was like, man, you forgot your shoes. And he's like, oh, just keep them, I don't want them. Oh, nice. Like, okay. So they were size 12, I'm a size 10 and a half. I used them for about a year and a half and then I started getting more into sneakers and figured out what they were and I ended up selling them. Yeah, I, um, I managed to work out a deal with the guy and I ended up trading him uh, a restoration and a customization for these. So. Oh, that's dope. It was pretty cool for sure. And just to have those back in my collection. Stab, 2005 yeah. Nike Air Stab. That's the Foot Patrol collaboration. I was just oh. talking to some people that I think the stabs are going to come back in the next little bit. I love it. It's really a sick nice. silhouette. Yeah. It's a comfy yeah. shoe. It looks awesome on foot. Like 100 bucks, eh? Yeah. I've, I've been really lucky as far as sneakers go for finding good deals. <laughs> just kind of stumbling onto stuff. Like posters and t-shirts and stuff. Oh, that's this nice blue one here too. Like, these are really nice. They're, Justin Fouch has a bunch of air stabs. Does he? Yeah, he has a bunch of really nice ones. Well, I see they're coming back. They have them at Fouch. There's a colorway there now. And, uh, like, okay. sweet. So we can, yeah, head over here. Um, yeah, go take a look at your customization. Go we'll take a look at the custom babies. Pretty obvious pun, but, um, yeah, so this is... So, yeah, this is where I spend a lot of my time. <laughs> I was confident enough, you know, kind of share my art. This was when I was doing it just for fun. And mm -hmm. then when I started doing it and like actually worrying more about quality, worrying more about you know, how clean the lines were and everything. Yeah. And, uh, you know, getting a little more confident, getting a little more skilled at what I was doing. It's kind of a funny story too. Um, so that same trip to Hong Kong was huge for me and sneakers. So 
I was walking down the street and there was a guy sitting on a garbage can and there's a pair of these shoes were sitting on the ground next to him. They happened to be a size 11, which I wear like a 10 to 11. So I was like, do you want to sell them? I thought they were fakes. It's kind of some weird details on there. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I don't know, 200 Hong Kong, which was... Anyways, I, I worked him down to, I think it was like $3 I had in my pocket and I gave it to him and walked away with this. But uh, then I bought a couple Sharpies and I drew the Hong Kong skyline on the shoes, changed the color of the swoosh, and that was my first custom. And I decided I was going to do it right this time, so I went out and bought paint. And obviously, I didn't know anything about Angelus at that time, I didn't know anything about leather paints, I didn't know anything about preparing a shoe. You just got I just, a specific type of paint. Yeah, that's it's all yeah. it's all technical. So I grabbed some yeah. cheap acrylic paint from Michaels and then uh, went to town on these and the Sochi gold metal. So still not using Angelus paints at this point, but uh, you know, LeBron's. That was one of my favorite samples that I ever released. Was that LeBron for or LeBron nine, the LeBron Palmer's there? So I thought I'd try it on an older silhouette. Yeah, full good. This was the first and only uh, reconstruction I've ever done. So I took the shoe apart and then put it back together. Did you do this with your hands? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't have a sewing machine or anything like that. So I hand stitched this and then used a shirt with glue skinny too white for Tim. So I uh, opted for this instead. And it's cool. I went down to the Army Surplus store and picked up a couple of patches there for the tongues. And then kind of I tried it once before. Just an old pair of Pumas. On a gas mask there, so. so these are the Air Max 90 black cements I just recently did. Um, the base was just an all white Air Max 90. It's pretty so well done. Cool. Thank you. It's it, it's tough. They say that elephant print for a customizer is one of the most difficult things to nail. At. So that's two years to the day from that. First so, yeah, definitely. And these ones here, these ones are my babies. I I love these. Uh, base shoe was a Laney Five. Um, big long story with these. Laney's were the first retros I ever bought for retail. Uh, like I said, I love the five. A uh, customizer that I followed on Instagram had a little promotion going, so I sent them to him. Basically, when I got them back, they were they were half done. So I was pretty choked about that. He half dyed the liners. He there was blotches of paint everywhere. So I was pretty choked, but um, I decided I was going to fix them up. So basically, all that's left from what he did was the wolf patch there. Uh, future fives there. I bought the base grapes off the guy in that Edmonton group there, and uh, they were beat. But I figured I could save them. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so that was hand painted there. Um, yeah, uh, dyed the soles on these ones too. Uh, so oh wow, you did. That yeah, was that clear before. It's pink now, so. I think that just adds to it there, but yeah, that doesn't scratch off. Like that's not paint. That's the rubber's paint now. So. See like the line on the paint. It's like super clean. So that's what I'm pushing for these days. I'm, you know, at a point now where I'm, I think I'm good enough to produce quality customs like this and keep them clean and stuff like that. So thanks for watching another YEG Soul. We're here with Eli Falls. We just took a look at his customizations, and before that, we took a look at his collection. He'll be there at Soul Good to pre-ordering some of these customizations. You can take a look at what he does, and you can follow him online. Oh, we should have found out where to find you online and other things like that. Okay, uh, Facebook.com uh, <laughs> slash Fallsy Customs, or Instagram at Fallsy30, just the number there. Yeah, see you guys in Edmonton. I'm looking forward to meeting everybody and talking about shoes. Peace. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Jim Duggan. It's day two of the last episode of YEG Soul. Today we took a trip all the way down to Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And we're going to be chilling here. The homie Robin Noble came down with us. We got the whole Soul Good team down here this time. So it's going to be a dope time. Let's go check it out.
So I have to admit, we were a little unprepared when we went down to Calgary. We didn't really bring any camera gear other than the camera itself, and we didn't really bring any mics so we couldn't talk to anybody in loud rooms. However, what we did manage to accomplish was we managed to touch base with a lot of cool people in Calgary that we haven't had a chance to meet yet, but we may have talked to online or even following on Instagram for a while now. We also got a chance to just touch base with some local stores. Their Facebook group has some 3,000 members. I think it's a really dope city. It might even have a little bit more of an active scene to Edmonton, but it's really comparable to Edmonton. I like how these Alberta cities can get together and celebrate these things. And I'm hoping to see a lot of the guys from that event come up to our event and show what they have. I know Lexington Ave guys are gonna be coming up there. I know just Cowboys gonna be coming up to take some photos for the Bragg Affair. Big shouts to everybody that you know we met down there. So we just got back from Calgary. We had a chance to check out their sneaker expo. Big ups to the UnDS team and everybody that worked on that. We went and checked out Lexington Ave. It's a dope store. We went and checked out a couple other stores too in Calgary. You'll be able to catch up on that on the vlog and the blog. Now me and Patrick are just gonna chill out on some Smokey Boy shit. Sit out the rest of the day. I wanna thank y'all for watching season three of YEG Soul. We will see you this Saturday, June 6th at the Soul Good Sneaker Convention. Subscribe, like, Comment, share, peace.